hello friends welcome to youtube channel crack get online so in this video i am going to discuss about design of bench terrace so in the first video we came to know as terraces are of two types one is bench terrace and other is broad based terraces so we are continuing the bench terraces series and here in this video we will know about the design how you will design the bench terraces designing means basically to know the dimension of terraces what will be length of terraces width vertical interval this calculation of all this parameter is known as the designing okay so for designing what you need to know first of all you need to know what is the climatic parameter from there you will come to know about the rainfall then you need to know about the soil parameter soil permeability soil depth type of soil after that you need to know about the land slope okay percent percentage of land slope and the length of land slope based on this you will decide what type of bench terrace you will make in those particular area so whatever i told you i have written here you can read it so finally in the last video i told you what is based on rainfall you can calculate the you can come to know about the type of bench terrace so i gave you one mnemonic that is mhl means level bench terrace in case of medium high medium rainfall and high permeability okay so medium rainfall high permeability level bench terrace it is written here so you came to know in a particular area that soil is mm, highly permeable and the rainfall is medium then you can make there level type of bench terrace okay and if you came to know as rainfall as very high and the crops are subscribed water logging problem is there then you need to know the inward slope because inward slope you will remove all the water then inward sloping is useful for which type of crop if you don't know you watch the previous video that is for potato okay so here i discussed you in video 1 also so here you see that this is the fill material means you are filling this material and from where you are getting this material you are cutting this material because it is below the slope so that material you are cutting and you are filling it above the slope okay so like this when you will do in up when you will do one or two series like this again you will cut again you will fill then you will get two benches like this okay and the vertical distance this between these two benches is known as the vertical distance vertical interval okay here it is shown so from this figure it will be more clear to you so here it is one type of terracing figure is shown so here this is known as the depth of cut okay this is d by 2 so Two times of d by two we will calculate everywhere. This two times of d by two is this length, that is drop. Okay, and here it may be of two types. So here this vertical distance it is known as the riser or batter slope. Okay, and this shoulder one, this one is known as the shoulder one because it is at the shoulder of terrace. So that batter slope may be one raised to one or half raised to one. okay so riser is also referred as the batter this i told you in previous video so that slope may be 1 raised to 1 or half raised to 1 based on that your all calculation will change okay and width of bench terrace is what this this is known as the complete width from here to here this is width of bench terrace this width of bench terrace is useful for calculating the length of bench per hectare that will be 10 to the power 4 divided by w same what we used in case of bonding okay so suppose this this is not there okay so consider this as a triangle consider this as a triangle and your better slope is not there it is vertical cut so what i told you it is d by 2 and what will be this this will be w by 2 because this is this length is half of width okay and this is your slope this is your land slope okay this is all 
similar so land slope will be equal to s by 100 will be equal to what d by 2 divided by w by 2 so what will be the value of d d will be equal to from 2 this will be cancer w s divided by 100 ok so i hope it is clear this is for vertical cut ok so this d by 2 is depth of cut always it is in question depth of cut is given as 1 then we will take 1 equal to d by 2 and the value of d will become 2 so you will put value of d as 2 you will put the value of slope and you will get the width of slope suppose now the value of better slope or the riser is 1 raised to 1 ok so again you make the triangle so this is the triangle sorry for drawing it very poorly so it is become 1 raised to 1 ok so this dotted line whatever you are seeing here so the same dotted line I am drawing here so you know this is thick d by 2 now better slope is 1 raised to 1 means this distance this one that will also become for 1 raised to 1 it will become d by 2 and here it will also become w by 2 so this is slope again so what will become now s will become d by 2 divided by d by 2 plus w by 2 ok from here if you will calculate d that will become w s divided by 100 minus s ok and if it will better slope is half raised to 1 means half raised to 1 then it will become d by 4 because d by 2 into 1 by 2 that will become d by 4 and if you will put this here d by 2 divided by d by 4 plus w by 2 then your d will become here all things I have given so here this I showed you how to calculate how to derive here it will become 2ws divided by 200 minus s so it is for half raised to 1 this is for 1 raised to 1 and this is for vertical cut ok ws divided by and what is d? d d is 2 times of depth of cut because depth of cut is d by 2 ok so this is the basic difference you need to remember d is not d is also known as vertical interval because that will be the drop but vertical interval you need to calculate using the width and the slope ok so basically you remember d by 2 is depth of cut if depth of cut is given in question then this d will become 2 times of depth of cut and what is better slope riser slope i have given already you can read it from here so i told you already in the video 1.1 how you will calculate the dimension of shoulder bund so for which type of bund dimension of shoulder bund will be highest so by common sense you can know when you are discharging the in the outward type of main carriage all the water is going through the towards the shoulder bund so in that case you need the dimension of shoulder bund as highest so here it is written or in other case the typical dimension is this this will this can be asked in your JRF question or in your semester but in gate it will not be asked in gate they will tell you to calculate the length but in JRF they can directly ask you ok so one last formula you need to remember for better slope what is the area lost how much area you are losing here so for 1 raised to 1 directly you remember this formula for half raised to 1 directly you remember what you see from here the bottom of this the denominator is same only numerator is changing ok so for half raised to 1 it is 100 plus s for 1 raised to 1 it is 200 plus s ok so you remember half raised to 1 for 1 raised to 1 you remember 200 for half raised to 1 it will become half of 200 that is 100 while denominator is same for both so directly question will come you need to put it here ok so thank you for watching this video uh, in the next video we will take some numerical question and we will take the what is the area loss 
as i told you that uh, suppose if you are making terrace like this so this much is depth of cut okay and i told you this is d by 2 okay and this is w by 2 so this is the area where you are working so what will be the earthwork earthwork will be area of that triangle that is half into base that is w by 2 into height that is d by 2 it is in meter square and length of bund length of terrace per hectare that is 10 to the power 4 divided by w so from w to w it is gone and 10000 divided by 8 that will become 1250 into d and i told you what is d d is i derived one formula regarding d in this video itself that is ws divided by 100 okay so this will remain same for all this is for vertical cut in case of 1 raised to 1 what will be the value this will become 1250 into ws divided by 100 minus s okay for half raised to 1 what will will become 1250 into vi only but the value of vi vi will become ws divided by 200 minus s okay so this value of vi 2ws okay so sorry for mistake here you, you will become 2ws divided by 200 minus s this is for half raised to 1 so this is how you will calculate the earthwork so i derived how you can calculate how you can derive this equation so in the next video we will show you how to solve the numerical problem okay so this is as you can see this is very simple topic only you need to understand what is d by 2 what is vertical interval what is width and all the formula you can derive by yourself and for speedy calculation you can remember those okay but you should get you should have clarity how this formula are coming and because in btech many students have such type of doubt they they are not able to imagine the pictures in their mind so my basic purpose is that you